Ken here, blogger and founder of Hikai Hatana, a page where I share with you about property financing tips, property investing, and also personal finance tips. In my last few videos, we have shared and looked at Secrets report. So the next thing that I'm going to share with you today is about CITOS. So I'm going to share with you who is behind CITOS, what do they do, what to look out for as a consumer, and how do you get your CITOS report. Okay, so let's begin, shall we? CITOS is actually a private company. It's not maintained by Bank Negara, it's a private company. They are under CITOS data system, Samir Mahat. So the function of this company is to collect information that is vital to credit assessments, such as information regarding bankruptcy, information regarding companies, information regarding your businesses, and also personal information. They are empowered under the Credit Reporting Agencies Act 2010 to collect this data. And this data then will be give, given made available to financial institutions such as banks if, to help them to assess your credit application. So what are the info that the CITOS actually collects about you? First is the inf business information if you are doing business, information on bankruptcy, if, whether you are bankrupt or not. Third is the legal action, is there any legal action taken against you or you have taken any legal actions against someone else. Fourth is the outstanding bill. This outstanding bill usually arises from you, any bills, especially the most common is utility bills, where you're, you did not pay your utility bills and they put the names in CITOS. So what do we need to check as consumers from CITOS? First, we need to check our personal information such as full name, IC, and address. These are all personal information that we need to check to see whether it's updated. Next, if you have a business, check whether your business information is updated. And third, and the most important one, is the legal action. Is there any legal claims against you that you don't know about? Or perhaps you file a legal claim and you don't know about. <laughs> Surprise. No, so Okay. And uh, so how do you get that CITOS report? And CITOS report is given free by self-check, but it, I would recommend that you buy a CITOS report for 25 ringgit plus tax is uh, 150 so its total is 2650 what's the difference between the free one and the paid one the free one you only get a CITOS report but if you pay you get the latest secrets report as well okay the secrets report is not the same as the one you get from Bank Negara Malaysia okay this is the CITOS report but it comes together with the secrets and it, is make is convenient, highly convenient for you to before to, to know roughly before you apply loan. So, next one is how long this record is kept. So, for example, bankruptcy, outstanding bills. This how long this record is kept. This record is always is remember, ladies and gentlemen, is permanent. Why permanent? Because CITOS is not a bank, so they they could not actually update any records they only keep the records it's your duty as a consumer to update them once you get all the necessary documents which i will elaborate in the next episode you will have to send it to CITOS themselves for CITOS to update them and CITOS will remove that status and update the status on your behalf after receiving all the documents and checking it all in necessary order okay so that's all from me for this video. I'm Kenny Lee from Ikai Hatana. So if you find this video useful and informative, I would appreciate your help to kindly share this with your family, share this with your friends, share this with everyone out there that needs to hear this. Share this by email, share this by WhatsApp. It doesn't matter as long as you get the message out, alright? So until I see you again next time, I wish you all the best and have a nice day. Bye-bye.